Yeah, not too bad of a day out there, but we do have some scattered hit or miss showers and storms really all across the Great Lakes area. This is just a weak and kind of diffuse or spread out storm system. Zooming in here, you can see we're socked in in the clouds. A couple breaks of sun north of Chicago, but plenty of rain falling, especially right now in northwest Indiana. We do still have a couple hours of this rain ongoing in some areas and also a very slim threat of a strong storm north of Chicago. So here's what we expect. New high resolution data, which is doing a great job so far this afternoon shows northwest Indiana rain continuing through 530. A couple storms west of DeKalb coming into our viewing area. Some in Chicago will still see an isolated downpour or two, maybe as late as 7 or 8 p.m. But notice after 6 o'clock, the coverage of the rain really starts to drop. And by about 9 p.m. tonight, rain chances are going away. But just as the umbrella weather disappears, something we haven't seen in a while, thick fog on your morning drive tomorrow. This is happening because of hot, high humidity, clearing skies and calm winds tonight. Visibility is fine this evening, but by morning, this is a problem for commuters, especially west of Cook County. According to our best models, visibility dropping under a half mile. Use your low beam headlights. Take it easy on the roads. This will burn off pretty quickly after 8 a.m. On Saturday, we may see another round of thick fog, especially closer to the lake with a light northerly breeze pushing in that cold air. Otherwise, besides some morning fog the next couple days, boy, the weather really improves. This weekend looks amazing. 81, a little cooler near the lake on Saturday, 80 on Sunday with just a slim chance of a late day storm. But we have now issued a weather alert for that storm we warned you about Tuesday. This is your first alert on a bigger system coming our way after a beautiful weekend. Monday, we get clipped by a little storm, but Tuesday, look at this. Severe weather possible and flash flooding possible from one to two inches of rain. As it looks right now, as you can see here, Late in the day is going to be the wettest time. Of course, it is still only Thursday, though, so we'll work out all the details over the coming days and keep you informed. You also may have noticed still a little bit of a haze in the sky. We'll still have a little bit of Canadian wildfire smoke drifting our way. That'll be the case again tomorrow. No air quality or health impacts to worry about. And then the fog or the smoke rather should lift north of our area with warm south winds this weekend. So tonight after the rain exits, watch for some fog 59 pretty warm for this time of year. Tomorrow talk about warm 76 after morning fog. A really wonderful day. Weekend forecast looks great with temperatures up to 81 on Saturday next week. The weather alert, something to watch for on Tuesday. Boy, aside from that weather alert, look at the highs Monday wow. and Tuesday. Mm. This is like July 85, yeah. 86. Pretty incredible. You can get those storms going, that's for sure. It really can, yeah. Okay. Thank you, David.